on our farm, when a cow is sick, just like in our family, when we when we get sick or our children get sick, sometimes it's necessary to treat an animal with antibiotics. When an animal gets sick on our farm, then Lad moves that cow into the hospital pen, and that enables him to treat her with antibiotics necessary as recommended by our veterinarian. There are antibiotics that are approved for different systems or different infections in the cow. There um, are antibiotics that are approved for treatment of lung infections, uh, treatments of infections of the udder, mastitis, treatment for uterine infections, foot problems, uh, and that type of thing. All of those uh, antibiotics have established withdrawal times and label directions with dosage information. After a cow is treated with antibiotics, she's tagged as being treated, and they do have to continue milking her. When cows are in the hospital pen, they are milked just like the other cows, but that milk is isolated and it is dumped. So there is no chance that that milk can enter the uh, human food chain. We believe that if our cow is sick, um, has pneumonia, or has um, some sort of, sort of utter um, health problem, or even just after they give birth, they can have some health issues. And it's very important if that cow has some sort of immune issue that we think we should treat that cow with the medicine that's right for her. Instead of not treating her, we value the life of that cow and we want to treat, treat that cow appropriately. To make sure that we're doing everything correctly on our farm, we have a milk inspector that comes unannounced and they come to check the cleanliness of all of our equipment to make sure our equipment is in good repair. We also take an extra step and test that milk with, a, with, with what we call a snap test. There's specific tests out there to test um, if your milk has any, any antibiotic residue in it. When that tank load of milk leaves our farm and goes to the processor, it's tested for antibiotic residue. And if one cow accidentally gets milked into that tank, then our milk would test positive for antibiotics and the whole load of milk would be dumped and never enter the, the food chain for human consumption. That's how sensitive the antibiotic testing is. All milk and dairy products are going through rigorous uh, testing um, before they reach the shelf to make sure that they are free of antibiotics and any sort of health harming bacteria that is something that uh, consumers can take great confidence in. Just because the animals were treated at one point in their life does not mean that they still have residual antibiotics in their body. Um, and that's a very important thing for people to remember. I feel very comfortable serving dairy products to my family because I know that there are no antibiotics in any milk traditional milk, organic milk, because of the rigorous testing that's done from the farm to the processor to make sure that no trace amounts of antibiotics are in any milk.